Hi, Calvary. This is your quarterly update following the quarterly update at the annual meeting. As we prepare for summer, there's a couple things I want to be able to highlight for all of you as we kind of find a different rhythm like we always do over the summer. So the first is to note that our Sunday schedule looks a little different. Instead of having our individual church school classes, we have a forum time from 9 to 10. Some of the time that will be our I Am Calvary Storytellers, and you can find a list of the storytellers in the upcoming order of worship and newsletter. And we also have a chance to hear from the discernment team throughout the summer at different points. And so be sure to look out for those. But ultimately, we get to hear from one another. So the I Am Calvary Storytelling Series is a chance for a church member on a given Sunday to share their story, however they choose to capture that. And it's a great way to be able to connect and learn about one another. And I'm so grateful to all of our storytellers who are willing to share who they are a bit more with our congregation. So be sure to check that out. That'll be in the Fellowship Hall from 9 to 10 a.m. this coming sun summer. Uh, we will take June 4th off as well as Labor Day Sunday off. And so that will allow for kind of summer breaks in between the program year. So we look forward to hearing those beginning um, later in June. Another note is, uh, while adult church school classes have taken a break for this summer, so our teachers can have a rest and different rhythms can take place for participants, our children's ministry will continue to have church school during the worship hour. This seems to be a good rhythm for families and church school leaders for our children, so we're going to keep with it. So following the Word for God's children every Sunday during worship, children will be invited to head down to the children's wing and participate in church school. If you have any questions about that, you can always contact Miss Angela. Keeping with children's ministry, we wanna highlight that Vacation Bible School will be June 26th through the 30th. If you would like to sign up, we would love for you to volunteer with VBS. Um, Miss Angela has already got some lead volunteers and so this would be helping support them and what would be great is for you to share the registration link with any family you think would like to come. VBS is a great outreach for our children's ministry and we look forward to it every year. So if you have any questions, if you're able to sign up, please do so with Miss Angela. Uh, you can also find that information in the newsletter and be able to share it with folks that way. We have a Family Promise Host Week this summer as well. It will be June, excuse me, July 9th to the 16th, and sign up for that will be coming out this week. So we hope you're able to support our next host week as we support families in transition as they experience homelessness. And we're so grateful for all Family Promise does and how we can be of support to them. We'll have a healing and wholeness service this summer and a fifth Sunday this summer. Uh, and we have summer choir this summer. Our summer choir dates are June 18th, July 9th, and August 13th. So summer choir is a great way to engage and maybe try out choir if you never have before. Uh, you can contact Dr. Farwig and ask questions and figure out maybe if this is a good trial run for you joining choir. Choir is a great community to get connected, learn more about what's going on here. Um, within the community at Calvary, and summer choir is a great way to try that out. And then Gathering Sunday is September 10th. So we'll start our program year of the 23-24 program year that, uh, that following week. So September 11th is when all our small groups resume, and we look forward to that Sunday of celebration and connection. Some of you may be wondering, what updates does the discernment team have? Or do we have to wait till later in the summer? No. One of the things we have uh, gleaned is being able to try new things out. And so you may have responded to whether to evaluate this Sunday. The evaluation of red, yellow, green. Green, keep it going. Yellow, keep it going with some adjustments and red is to stop. So you're going to start seeing us try some things to see how to best respond to the discernment information we received. And once again, Thanks to all of you for participating in the discernment process. 
We were so grateful to have your voice and learn how to implement all that we've learned. So to better tell you about one of the things we're going to be trying and exploring, here are Ann and Jim Comstock. Hi, Mr. Comstock. Happy summer. I know how you like word games, so I have a challenge for you. How many things can you name that go together? Things that go together? Yeah, like pairs or duos or Oh, I got sums. it. Horse and carriage, peanut butter and jelly, mutt and Jeff, Jack and Jill. Good job. Well, I have some exciting news about a new twosome at Calvary. It's called Connect Two. Soup and sandwich, knife and fork, Batman and Robin, shoes and socks, Minnie and Mickey. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Now, you and I have been a part of Calvary's discernment process, right? And it was both energizing and insightful. Now, one of the four big things that we learned was that Calvary is built on caring, connection, and relationship. People are really important to our Calvary community. Birds and bees, mac and cheese, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, Buster and Damon. Yes, yes, thanks. We're good. So, we've come up with an easy way for Calvary community twosomes to get to know each other, called Connect Two. Before I explain a bit more, I want to give you one more challenge. Mr. C, what are different ways that two people could connect? They could chat over a cup of coffee, go for a walk, send an email, pray for each other, send a text, Zoom together. Exactly, with... exactly. Now, Connect Two is about two people just spending some time together to get to know each other better. We're asking folks to sign up to be a part of a pair for the next few months. We're calling it the summer season. Once two folks are paired together, they can connect in whatever way and as often as they like. More options. Let's see. Uh, send a note, make a call, uh, play golf together, um, go to a Nuggets game, share scripture, um, go into space, go whoa, on a whoa, safari. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, those are really great examples. But let's, let's just take the message, which is make it your own in any way that helps you connect and get to know each other. And... It's easy to do. Sign up is going to be starting now through Sunday the 18th. The pairings are going to be at random. So if you have any special preferences or requests, you can let us know. You're welcome to uh, click on the link in the e-news, and then you'll watch for information that will be sent to you about who your pair is. What if folks are confused and have questions about this? Well, how about they call or email either you or I? Our contact information is in the directory, and it'll also be in the e-news. Perfect. All right. Now, we are really hoping that people just jump in and give this a try. It should just be a fun and easy way to connect with each other. We'll see how the summer goes, and then we'll ask for our color-coded feedback. Green? Yes, keep it going. Yellow? Mm, pause. We may need to tweak or change it a little bit. And red? No, stop. This does not work for me. Sounds like a good plan. I'm happy to keep offering pairing ideas. And suggestions for connecting? Yes. No, I think we're really good. Okay? I got it. Come on and connect to Calvary. Good job. Thanks, Ann and Jim, for that information about Connect2. So this wasn't our typical midweek uh, moment, but sometimes it's really helpful to just know what's coming. And so I invite you to take a moment, get comfortable, put your feet flat on the floor, have as best posture as you can, put your hands on your knees, take some deep breaths with me. As your body receives that intentional oxygen and breath, I hope it begins to settle in and get comfortable. Whether you're excited about summer, whether summer ramps up and stresses you out work or family schedule wise, whether you love the heat, dislike the heat, 
whether you miss normal programming or love the break. Wherever you are on this particular Wednesday, as you hear kind of what's to come in this summer season, I hope you know that you can feel whatever you need to feel, that you are welcomed just as you are, and that hopefully there is an avenue where you get to connect, to feel seen, to feel known, and to be loved within our community here at Calvary. I'm so grateful to be able to share a couple things coming up with you. And I hope that this summer allows you to engage in activities that restore your spirit, that allow your body to be well, and allow your mind to have moments of rest and creativity. Calvary, if you have any questions, please let lay leaders noted in any of our connect information, whether that's in the connect section of the order of worship or the newsletter or here at midweek. Be well this week and we'll see you next week. Until then, know that you're beloved. Know that you are divinely created and know that this Calvary community would not be the same without you. Go in peace.